Welcome to Naresh Technologies. I am Banga Raju and this is the continuation for our uh, C Sharp 7 features and this is um, the part 3 and today I am just going to discuss about deconstructors. What is a deconstructor? We know constructor. Constructors are basically for initializing the uh, fields of your particular class and deconstructor is something um, it is not like uh, opposite for a constructor but uh, for accessing the values. Uh, what I mean to tell is, okay, let me show this programmatically to understand things. I am adding a class here, we will name this particular class as deconstructor demo, deconstructor demo. In this, I want to define a class, public class employee int employee number string name and job and a double salary and uh, we are aware that to initialize this particular fields we can define a constructor how do you define public employee int e number string e name or string name next string job and double salary and then let us try to initialize underscore e number equals to e number underscore name equals to name underscore job is equals to job and underscore salary is equals to salary fine like this we have just gone for initializing all the attribute values now come to second class here static void main trying to create a instance of the employee class employee emp equals to new employee and pass all the attribute values 1001 some name scott and now a job value a manager and finally, the salary some 15,000. Like this, we are assigning the values and internally the constructor is called and all the fields are initialized. Can we access this particular four fields outside the class? Not possible. Why not possible? Because all the four are private. You see here, emp of, emp dot, you do not have any access to the values. You do not have any access to the values. They are not coming in the list because there are private fields and if you want to access this particular values out of the class there are different options what we have one we can define uh, we can declare them as public second option we can define properties third option we can define constructors like this there are various mechanisms what we can follow for accessing these values outside now in c sharp 7.0 they given one more mechanism for accessing this particular values outside what this is a deconstructor what is a deconstructor ok watch in your class write a method called as deconstruct deconstruct the method name should be deconstruct now this should have four parameters again all the four and you need to declare the mass out out all the parameters as out parameters and after declaring them as out parameters you are going to write the code here what is the code what did you write in the constructor just reverse the code let me copy paste it here and just reverse the code what is it e number equals to underscore e number next name job salary equals to underscore name underscore job and underscore salary means the field values we are assigning to the out parameters okay this is called as a deconstructor and after defining this now you can access your values directly with the help of the um, with the help of a mechanism just like our tuples what we learned earlier how you know simply 
you can just do this and here you can capture all the four values. How? You can capture all the four values here int e number, string name, string job and finally double salary. So, straight away you can access all the four values console dot right line employee number plus e number and this is name job and finally employee salary console dot read line console dot read line so once you do this immediately you are going to get access to all the values. So, let us just set this as a startup object, you can notice access to all the values, you got access to all the values here. Okay? So, this is how you can define a deconstructor and if you just remember this is a similar type of mechanism what we used in the tuples demo in our previous feature in the previous feature in the previous video I was talking about the tuples in the even in the tuples also we are trying to access in the same style like this and now also we are accessing in the same style and see without declaring int here you can also directly say where no need string where implicitly typed variables you can just directly declare it like this and now also you can access well or to still simplify to still simplify without writing where everywhere, without writing this where each and everywhere, you can simply go for writing where in the first and access it. You can see you can overload deconstructors, you can overload deconstructors in the sense I want to define a deconstructor for accessing only two values. Okay, suppose let me copy paste it again. I want to access only number and name. If that is the case, remove this and remove this too. So, this deconstructor is providing access only to two values and now here I can capture it as where again new e number and new e name equals to emp. This is new e number and new e name. Just to differentiate here, let us print a line break console dot right line. Yeah, what is it? New name. You can see again I got the access. Like this, you can overload the constructors also. Sorry, deconstructors also. And the method name should be deconstruct. Suppose I am giving a different name like this. If I am going to give a different name like this, you get an error here you are going to get an error here because the method name should be deconstruct. Okay, compulsory. And uh, have you noticed it? We are gone for overloading, but still really this overloading is not required. Why is it not required? Suppose you want to access only two values, you want to access only two values, okay. you have a simple mechanism. What is that is? Right now here we get an error. We get an error. We can just simply say underscore, underscore and escape from we can simply say underscore underscore and escape from it and access only the two values. So, no need of writing again an overloaded deconstructor. One is enough, you can access anything in this. So, simply you just you can escape from that by using a underscore underscore there, that is it. Okay, which value you do not want, there simply use an underscore, that will be enough for us. So, this is the idea behind the deconstructor for providing access to the values or the fields that are associated with the class. So, till now we are using public fields, properties, indexers and now you can say we can also use deconstructors for accessing the values. Okay? Thank you for watching the video. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Naresh IT.